Hi patron. Hi Kevin. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, we want to get to know you more better. Uh with a round over. Why do you want to get to know me better? You really don't know me well enough. And any of your concerns. Yeah, cuz uh we want to know you more better. Yeah. Um and to understand more you better and to also show you that there are some of the things that you will be hesitant to even tell us cuz don't know yourself as much as you think you do. You think so? Bring it on. <laughs> All right. So, uh the first question would be what's that one personal habit that keeps you energized and motivated that you have? Uh the one no, there are two. Can I say two? Yeah, you can say two. Okay. Um <laughs> no, there are many. Prayer, reading okay. the word, yeah. working out. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, can you share a surprising fact uh, about yourself that most people don't know? What? A surprising fact about myself? Yeah. That most people do not know. Ooh, I had braces for oh. 10 months when I was in class 7. <laughs> and now. Look at you. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, family tradition and why? My favorite family tradition. Spending time with my family during mm -hmm. Easter and Christmas. Yeah. And it's because we are so many. Mm -hmm. There are seven kids, two parents. Mm -hmm. And now, like, uh, my older siblings are married. So we have more people in the family. Yeah. So at least during Easter and Christmas, we can at least part on us if you want it. Wow. Yeah. So I know you like the young people of Kenya. Like, you right. have a passion right. for them. You love them, eh? You <laughs> love <laughs> So tell us why is Max Foundation? Well... Why not? I think there's nobody else mm -hmm. uh, who is in the agriculture and climate space yeah. who is engaging young people in the way that SMACS Foundation does. Yeah. So that is why SMACS Foundation. I love doing something that's unique, something that can bring a difference, an impact, yeah. and something that can change the course of um, a trajectory that has been moving. Because we know the average age of a farmer in Africa is 60 years old. Yeah. Yeah. And as, at SMACS Foundation, we want to change it to 60. Yeah. So that is why Smacks. Wow, wow. So I've been still on Smacks. Eh? What's the most memorable moment you've had with the Smacks Foundation team members? I think it was when the Smacks team surprised me for my birthday this wow. year. At the office. Yeah, that wow. was really memorable. Wow, wow. And now uh, on that, how do you uh, balance between your personal life and the role of uh, being the founder and patron of our Smacks Foundation? I think having the smart team really helps me balance. Mm -hmm. um, but you always have to, as you move when uh, yeah. you're in the office or you're working, uh, let's say from 8 to 5, you do that. Then after that, I go home yeah. and I have my me time. Of course, things can come back, come up in between. Yeah. So I handle them as they come. Mm -hmm. But I think the power of having a team, and it doesn't have to be a big team, because yeah. at Smart Foundation, we are officially nine people though we have our 94 ambassadors joining us yeah. as volunteers yeah but we have officially nine people so having having that small team really helps to keep the balance yeah, yeah. being on that uh, uh also outside outside max foundation you've seen you support a lot of youths like uh when you're in your trip to mombasa we saw you went to a lot of different places to you know like check out on youths who are trying to you know like uh, do something you know like to adjust their income and stuff eh? but we would want to know we would want to really know um, what's or what drives your passion for youth empowerment and community development mm. um, what really drives my passion is when I was starting out and I asked the young people what I can champion for them yeah. and they sent me so many suggestions and I narrowed them down to the 30 things yeah. and this is what I'm able to do through Smacks Foundation but this is what I do as a youth champion. So the fact that young people saved themselves and they wrote to me themselves, they wrote on my social media, they wrote on email, when I meet them face to face they remind me so that alone drives me that there's somebody who is going to benefit from this little or this big thing that I'm doing. So the drive comes from the young people themselves. 